If there was ever anyone who was nearly born in the saddle, it was Amy Ayers. Raised on ranches in Cleburne and Jacksboro, Amy was a little self-conscious about being a cowgirl when her family moved to Austin in 1985. It used to kind of bother her because she was always a country girl, and I told her, I said, you can take the girl out of the country, but she can't take the country out of the girl. What does this room reflect of her? Well, I think it shows you some of her interests. George Strait, he's on every wall here in the room. Um, she was an animal lover. She uh, really loved cats, and horses were probably her favorite of, of the animals. So we've got stuffed animals of all kinds to go with that. Um, she uh, spent a lot of time in here just by herself, played her stereo with all of her country western music. She's always liked country western. She's never been a rock and roll fan. Mm -hmm. And would spend, uh, do her homework in here, sitting at her desk with her country music going. Amy's birthday, two years ago. At 12, she was already showing signs of camera shyness. That was the year she got her cutting horse, Copy. Her love of animals took her to the FFA. She raised and sold pigs at the Austin Travis County Livestock Show. And it was through the FFA that she became friends with Jennifer and Sarah Harbison. They just hit it off from the first time they met. And then once that happened, you didn't see one without the other at the livestock show. You didn't have to worry about those two when they were together. You knew that they, they were going to have a good time, but you didn't have to worry about what they were going to get into. They were going to be, be safe in, in, in what they did. They had, they had a ball together, laughed and giggled. <laughs> <laughs> really a good time. That was until the night of December 6th, when Amy and her three best friends were killed by people who have still not been caught. If they catch them tomorrow, I say hang them the next day. They need to suffer. I'm sorry, but we're suffering <laughs> every day. It's, and it's not getting any better, I'm, I hate to say. They tell me in time it will, but it's not any better today than it was the Saturday morning that, that they told me that it, that it had happened.